what do you want to be? Every week, the Mickey Mouse Club travels across the country to let you experience what you want to be. Now, today's what I want to be is simply too cool. Keith Young of Marathon, Florida actually got to swim with dolphins. You know, can you imagine how much fun that must have been? Mm -hmm. Swimming with dolphins? Keith got cool. to do that because he told us he wanted to work with underwater wildlife. So we arranged for him to spend a day at the Dolphin Research Center in Grassy Key, Florida. Let's take a look at Keith and the dolphins. <laughs> This is Inessa the dolphin, and she's waiting for Keith Young, because for one day we arranged for Keith to swim with the dolphins. I've grown up on the water, and living down here I see dolphins a lot when we're out in our boat. But even though he lives surrounded by water in the islands of the Florida Keys, Keith has never actually touched a dolphin, let alone swum with one. So he brought him to the Dolphin Research Center, where he met dolphin trainer Kathy Roberts and the dolphins. Are dolphins smarter than people? Um, dolphins are very, very intelligent. We can't really measure their intelligence on a scale like we would for humans. We sit down with a piece of paper and we answer questions. Well, dolphins drop the pencil when you give it to them. You can't really give them the same kind of test that we have. They are very smart. The more you work with them day in and day out, you can see the communication they have between them. Oftentimes they do train us as much as we're training them. I think they are truly very, very intelligent animals. They, uh, I don't know, maybe they're even smarter than us. Who knows? Dolphins are so highly advanced that their brain is even bigger than a human brain. But then, of course, dolphins are not fish. They don't have gills and they can't breathe underwater. But what they can do, as Keith found out, is communicate somehow with their own special language of clicks and whistles. The dolphins' voices seem to contain emotion and feelings that have made them friends to humans for over 3,000 years. Yeah. <laughs> they sure like you. Dolphins have their own funny way of showing affection. And recently, scientists have started using these friendliest mammals of the oceans to help children with learning disorders. After the dolphins got to know Keith, he actually got in the water with them. Look, you want to say hi? Maybe she'll come give you a kiss right off. She usually likes to do that. Put your hand out. Here's the and give you a kiss. Want to give him a kiss? Here she comes. Fuck her up. Oh, he got shy at the last second. Remember what I said Keith didn't get a kiss around? right away, but he did play a game where the dolphins imitated whatever he did. That's a girl. See, she's doing exactly what you're doing. Lita is, too. <laughs> oh, she's singing and dancing. <laughs> And finally came the time that Keith was waiting for. He got to ride on a dolphin. Okay, Keith, girl, your hands out. Careful, I'm going to have to come get you, all right? I'm going to have to come get you. What did you wait for? Let's go. It was a really unique experience. I mean, they were very sweet and gentle and kind. And I just really thought it was a lot of fun. And yes, he finally did get his kiss from a dolphin. Wow, wouldn't that be cool to visit the Dolphin Research Center and swim with dolphins? Wouldn't that be neat? That'd be great. If there's something you would like to see or be, just let us know. Send your letters to What I Want to Be, Mickey Mouse Club, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. And make sure to include your name, address, and your phone number. We'll be right back after this.